Can I turn this into a home on wheels? Don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello. Hello everybody, I'm Mermaid Liv, and lately I've been really missing doing van life. Last year I transformed into the van life mermaid and I took my Dodge Grand Caravan camper that I converted all by myself. Okay, I had a little help from my dad. I took it all the way to Florida, I took it to Virginia, Maryland, lots of beaches. But the clock struck midnight and my fantasy ended. That's right, I had to give the van back to my sister whom I borrowed it from. And I've been really sad about it and I miss traveling, I miss going camping, and I've been looking into getting a new van, I'm looking into RVs, and all kinds of different camper options, so I can go on adventures with Harvey. And then I thought to myself, I don't need a van or a big vehicle, I could transform this little guy into something that I could comfortably go camping out of. So let's take a look inside. So here's the back. I've seen people take out the whole like back seat and then there's that big opening that leads into the trunk and then I want to build some kind of bed that goes into it. I've already got some of the stuff from my camper van so I've got these little thingies that are great and I'll decorate it all cute with some like fairy lights and it would look really cute and homey. So that's quite a lot of space. My legs would be partially in there while sleeping and then I would also have storage space. I could make something that would pull out into a table and seating. There's so much potential here. I could make it super comfy to just sit in the back of the trunk. It's a little uncomfy but I could I could build something. I'm not really much of a builder but my dad is. He could show me his ways. Lately I've been having big dreams. <laughs> Harvey's bored. Did you get stuck on that bush? You silly goose. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, there you go. You're free. Go play. I've been having dreams of building in camper vans, you know, converting camper vans. So yeah, that's my current dealio. I just want to go traveling again, and by the time it gets warm, I'm going to want to go to the beach all the time. So if you guys are interested in seeing me do that, I want to make this a thing. I want to make this happen. Follow my journey. I'm going to try to film some content of the whole process. Just wanted to give you guys an update and, you know, give you a little preview of what might be to come. Let's go to the wood shop to see what we have. Gotta build a camper. Need help from my dad. This is the wood shop where all the building magic happens. And I'm checking out what kind of wood my dad already has. See if there's anything we have to work with. Got a lot of trim. Anything I can already use. Hmm. The junk box. Ah, junk. This looks like a good size piece of wood. So step one in this endeavor is going to be conceptualizing everything that I want to do and basically just researching, figuring out how I can do it. And this involves just sitting in your vehicle a lot and looking around and kind of just visualizing what it could be. I don't know how to make a blueprint, so I'm really lucky to have a dad who is good at building stuff. I think I could make this comfortable. I got this space here. If I move the seat forward, I was thinking I could attach something to over here. And then I can put a, a, a board that goes from here to here, and then I have like a desk. The thing that's going to be hard is figuring out how to remove this whole back thing. Harvey's already ready for some adventures. Right, Harvey? I almost feel bad that I want to like rip this whole part out and everything, but I, I, this car doesn't have too much longer. It, it is kind of an old car, so I think for its final days, I want to do something extravagant. So step one is the planning and everything. And then step two will be actually starting to convert it by buying the materials, making up a blueprint essentially, and starting the crafting. You also want to be buying certain products that are useful for car camping. So I've got these handy dandy hanging thingies. 
I don't know what to call this, um, pouches. <laughs> Might need something like this. Maybe you wanna get a jackery to power your devices and things and lights and energy. I am going to attempt to make a blueprint. This will not be anything final or official. I just wanna sketch out how I want the build to look and then consult my dad and see about getting something a little, a little more precise and you know, something better. <laughs> Just gonna start by doing some research. Now I'm going to look up the blueprint for my type of car, the Honda Civic. And then add on the details that I would like to make. Okay, my pencil was... Hello everyone, I had a mostly sleepless night after my burst of enthusiasm over the idea of converting my Honda Civic into a little camper. I was met with this fear and uncertainty. I just lay awake, tossing and turning, my heart just pounding, thinking of all the things that could go wrong, thinking of all the reasons it's a bad idea, thinking this is crazy, and just feeling doubtful. So now I'm re-examining what I want to do. It's been quite the journey, you know, figuring out my life because I have this side of me that just wants to live a free-spirited adventure life. I, I have this desire to go live off-grid or to go live on a campground and, and say goodbye to normal society. But it's hard because I have family, I have friends, I have a boyfriend, I have a dog. I can't just do whatever I want. I know I'm gonna figure something out. I would like to buy one of these kind of campers and maybe live in that part-time, go on trips with it. You know, when summer comes around, I could just, I could go on lots of camping trips and make content then. It doesn't have to be like this crazy, like, uproot my life and live in a vehicle type thing. I'm a bit emotional right now, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do trying to get my dream job. There's just so many things that I want. But updates on my van life saga. The journey continues with me deciding probably not gonna convert my car. I could get something even bigger and better. Something that would comfortably sleep to. I could go on adventures with my boyfriend. We could be one of those adorable van life travel couples. You know, I've done it before. We could do it again with something even bigger and better. So, the drama continues with me finding the perfect van. Someone has fully converted a Chevrolet, like one of those big work vans, and it's adorable. It's got like wood walls, it's, it's electric water, got a nice bed, storage space, even a TV system and sound system. Only $5,000. $5,000! I, I had to jump on that. And it's got, uh, the check engine light is on, so there's something wrong with it and if money weren't an issue I would have this thing in a heartbeat 
but because money is an issue, I'm now scrambling trying to figure out if there's anything I can do to get quick money. I'm desperate. I want this van so badly. It's been an up and down day. And when I saw this van, I was like, I want that. I need that. But after messaging the person and seeing if there was any kind of deal that we could work out, for example, my car is not worth $5,000. It's probably maybe $3,500. I thought I could try to trade it with him, give him my Honda plus a little bit of cash, what, I, what cash I do have, or pay installments pay him installments and he holds on to it until I can fully pay it and then I would take it something but he has other people looking at it and obviously he's gonna go with the the quick money whoever gets it first and can give him the full money <sighs> so I am bummed because I highly doubt that I'm gonna be able to snag this van it would take a miracle you know I'm like if I could sell all my possessions and give him more than what he's asking maybe then i'd stand a chance but i don't know stay tuned for more hello everybody here's my next update so i doubt that i'm going to be able to get that van but i have decided to take on another job uh freelancing in the hospitality industry i signed up for this app called quick Q-W-I-C-K. Basically, they give you jobs, kind of like one-time jobs, you know, when people are like desperate for workers and they just need someone. And it's kind of like a temporary job, so you would travel to all these different places and take these jobs. And you make pretty good money, actually. So we're gonna see how that goes. I need the money. I need quick money. And, you know, that's the name is quick. You get paid 30 minutes after each shift. So I think this is something that could work out for me. I'm crossing my fingers that I can make good money from this. <sighs> Wish me luck, everyone. So I did a thing. I may have set up a little bed back here. I just wanted to test out hanging out in here. I got a sleeping bag. I was actually planning on sleeping in here the other day. Well, the other day I had the idea to sleep in here. So I, I got that that quick app where you get jobs like on the fly and there was a job coming up this weekend and it's about two hours away so so far I'm, I'm feeling a little like most of the jobs I'm gonna get are probably gonna be far away or on days that I already work I thought maybe I would take a little trip it's in Delaware near the beach this college and they needed some cooks and I've worked as a cook before so I thought why not but only thing is I was supposed to work on Friday and Saturday I requested off on Sunday because I have a friend visiting. So I was kind of like, well, I really want to do this. I want to try out using this working app and seeing how it goes and getting a little travel in and sleeping in the car. And then someone important to me kind of talked me out of it, said, that's risky. It's risking my job. It's going to be too cold. It's just too last minute and spontaneous. I don't think I'm going to do that, but I am still thinking about trying out traveling in this car. Currently I am at the park and I'm going to get some work done in my car. <laughs> so I actually really liked hanging out in my car today, being surrounded by nature. I guess I can have a good time in any size space, you know, I, I like those cozy little spaces like my treehouse. I always loved building forts, so I guess hanging out in a car just comes natural to me. It's like a little, like a little fort. So I definitely think I could try going camping in this vehicle. Maybe I should wait till it gets a little bit warmer because it's supposed to be cold most of these nights and I don't want to be uncomfortable or freeze to death or something. I still want to get a van, but my conclusion is that I am going to give small car camping a shot. So thanks for joining me on this little epiphany, this little uh, existential crisis journey, whatever it was. <laughs> and I hope to go on lots of adventures to the beaches. Obviously, it's too cold to swim, but that doesn't mean I can't take mermaid pictures on the beach. I've taken mermaid pictures in the snow, so I think I can do this. Anyway, that's all for now. Please subscribe if you like adventurous content and mermaids. We could be friends. Bye, everyone. Have a magical day.